Hey ladies, if you're 35 and older, I got some real talk for you. People don't like to discuss this, but here's my opinion. It's really important for you to freeze your eggs. I know it's a sensitive subject, and I know it can be difficult to confront the reality of your biological clock ticking. Hey, wait, I thought age was just a number. What's up with all this ageism? But you don't have time to waste, and you can't go backwards. So if you're single, and you're 35, 36, 37, 38... Uh, AKA if you're damaged goods. Because the only women that need to freeze their eggs, fellas, I will tell you now, are women who are damaged goods. I don't care how, you know, politically incorrect that sounds, it is absolutely true. Because if you were not damaged goods and you got married in your 20s like you're supposed to, and you found a good man and you weren't off riding a variety of dudes throughout your 20s racking up your vaginal odometer, uh, you would not need to freeze your eggs. If you had that one good man that I always encourage you women in your 20s to find, that dude you're going to go the distance with, that you're going to start a family with, that's going to become your husband, uh, no need to freeze your eggs, right? But you know who does need to freeze their eggs? <laughs> right? I just can't get off that carousel, man. You know, just riding all these bad boys. And you know what? Uh, at some point, I'm going to get off the carousel riding all these bad boys, but I want to make sure I can still have kids, so let me freeze my eggs. Um, and you're going to... Uh, this is very creepy, by the way. Just... I'll let her finish, and I'll jump on this. 39, 40, or whatever. You need to do the best thing for you and your future... Future partner! The future beta Brad, the future beta provisioner that's going to pay all the bills after she's uh, had all these uh, random dudes throughout the world yacked up inside of her and their sperm like coming out of her eyeballs. To father your children because every year the quality of your eggs deteriorate and the number available reduces. This is oh, it, it's so funny how um, these women who. Uh, <laughs> don't get married and are uh, aging fast um, are now admitting the biological fact that they are aging. You know, I thought age was just a number though. I thought 21 forever, what happened? It's just biological fact. You can be as positive and manifest, manifest. all that you want to, but you cannot fight nature. You can pray for miracles, but why even put yourself in that position to have to rely on miracles? So the best thing for you to do, if you're single and you don't want to rush into a relationship with someone who is not going to work out as your lifelong partner. Uh, essentially, in what she's saying here, if you want me to uh, decode her little womanese here, uh, somebody who's not going to work out as a lifetime partner uh, is basically the situationship she gets involved in. Uh, the, the dudes that treat her like a side chick and uh, basically all the dudes that uh, she is friends with benefits uh, has those type of uh, relationships with that are just, again, thrusting up inside of her with no intention of sticking around because she's going for guys that are out of her league. That is all, always what's at the bottom of this. These girls want to go for the, the guys that are out of their league, the six foot tall ex-college quarterback Right, that's now, uh, you know, a junior partner at his law firm, or <laughs> you know, uh, owning some uh, international business. Uh, yeah, they 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 let those guys do everything and anything to their bodies. But uh, uh, you know, w knowing that these guys will never commit, but they've also, in the meantime, have to protect themselves and freeze those eggs because they want to be mommies, well, single mommies. Then freeze your eggs. All it takes is a little bit of research and effort and a little bit of money and budgeting. But you can find the program that fits your budget. So let's say it's $10,000. The sooner you do this, the better. Because the younger you are, the more eggs you're going to get out of one egg freezing opportunity. So let's say you get 30 eggs and they're healthy because you're younger. That's great. Later on when you- Dude, this is really gross. I mean, I was gonna have an omelet this morning. Ugh, forget that. <laughs> I'm the right guy. He can fertilize your eggs, and they're going to be healthy quality, and you're going to have so many options. But the more you wait, 
the lower the amount is and the lower quality it is. The more problems you're gonna have having viable embryos. You know what, ladies? You can avoid all this. You don't need to to go to this uh, to this to this extent where you uh, freeze your eggs. If you just get off the carousel, if you just stop banging dudes that you know are out of your league, that you know will never commit to you long term, that you know you can't you can't control. If you just get realistic with yourself and realize that you're gonna become this woman's age at some point and you need to stop spending your time taking these girls trips all around the world and trying to see, you know, trying to get all those high value guys, the top, you know, top 10% of dudes off the apps, like every woman on the planet, just be realistic with yourself. If you're, a, if you're a five in looks, stop trying to go for these guys who are nines and tens, okay? Th these guys, if you're lucky, will just bang you, if that. They will never stick around, okay? Because, you know, honestly, if you're gonna freeze your eggs like this woman is saying, you're really, that's what you're doing. You're not, don't lie, right? Stop lying. I mean, you're just gonna keep banging these bad boys out of your league until you hit your 30s and you've been ran through and you have no more you know, gas in your tank, right? You have nothing else to give and then you're gonna like cross your fingers for the beta Brad to come along, the stupid idiot who's blue pill, who's never watched the 33 secrets, okay? Who's ignorant and uninformed and has been indoctrinated by the Matrix to believe like, oh, okay, time for me to save the single mom. And he's going to give up his own value to go inseminate your, you know, to, to uh, fertilize your egg. That's probably like contaminated with about 45 different dude's sperm, right? And then raise that child as his own. Don't do that, okay? Just get off the freaking carousel. Close your legs and wait for the right guy to come along. Stop sleeping around. Just do that. I, I, I'm a pickup artist telling you to stop sleeping around, right? It's disgusting. Got high value guys don't like that. As much as you, don't, you ladies don't want to hear that, oh, hey, double standard. Guys can keep sleep around, but women can't. Yeah, there's, it's a, there's a double standard and a stigma for a reason, right? Because it's so much easier for you to sleep around. And we know if you take advantage of that as a dude, you're, you're a 304. You're an SLUT, which I can't say on the channel, right? I get flagged. But that's what you are. You're for the streets. If you need to freeze your eggs, I mean, any woman who tells me she needs to freeze her eggs, I automatically assume that what she's doing in the bedroom, the number of dudes that, are, uh, that have seen her naked, the number of dudes that have been up inside of her, that have released, <laughs> released their sperm up inside of her, that are floating around and swimming all throughout her body, uh, that's what that's telling me. And the fact that she just, she can't hang on to a man. All you're, all you're doing is telling dudes that you have all of these dysfunctional qualities about you where you could not find one guy, you couldn't find one guy to settle down with and have kids with where you don't have to freeze your eggs. I mean, really, you're just telling dudes that you're for the streets. That's all. From those eggs. So I implore you, it might be strange to think about, it might be hard to talk it's about. Gross. It's so important for you to do this step now while you can in order to prepare yourself for a successful future as an older parent later on. At least you have those younger eggs to work with. Hope that was helpful. Consider it no. and let me know your comments below. Of course, nobody is going to be honest with her. You're good. I mean, I think I did look at the comments in her. Uh, video i wasn't even surprised about the, the amount of women are like oh yeah wow ooh, you know I, because women love the lie right they don't like truth women love lies um they're like oh yeah joe I, I can keep riding the carousel and i just freeze my eggs and then i'll find the beta brad when i'm 39 49 years old and then i'll have the family right then i'll dump the beta brad and just become a single mom while he funds this kid that i selfishly raised in a fatherless home not only is freezing your eggs creepy and disturbing, uh, but imagine growing up and then being told that you are a frozen embryo in a laboratory where there are dudes in white coats walking around. Not doctors, white coats and, you know, 
<laughs> laboratory equipment, um, waiting for your mom to stop sleeping around to find some dude that could afford to pay her to raise you. That would be very uh, traumatic um, for a child. So don't do that. Don't do that. All right, next one. The moment a man says that work is insane this week is the moment you should go on your fucking right. I think the actual most annoying part about when a guy says that is it's not acknowledging that work might be insane for women too. The casually work might have also been insane for me, but I know how to prioritize my time and I also know how to go through with commitments. It's not even about that because for women, <laughs> Women don't worry about finances as much as men do. That's just the truth. And the reason why is because women know that they always have a safety net underneath them, whether it's government or whether it's the amount of beta orbiters in their life that will easily throw them a financial line, a financial lifesaver, right? That will give them money, whatnot. Um, Whereas men don't have that. This, it's the same reason why you don't see a lot of homeless women, right? You're never going to see like even a decently attractive woman homeless. But you'll see plenty of guys that are you know, fairly decent looking. Otherwise, if they cleaned up, totally homeless, living in a cardboard box because nobody's going to help them. So when a man is uh, putting his, his uh, finances ahead of you, it's because he knows there's no safety net for him. Okay? He knows that he has to take that stuff very seriously, right? Just as I do with my business, I take it very seriously. I do not put my girlfriend ahead of my responsibilities when it comes to my business, when it comes to my responsibility shooting content, I don't put her ahead of that and she knows that because this is my livelihood, this is, you know, this is what I have and she understands that and if she, you know, we end up like together long-term for the distance, she knows that, that <laughs> she has to deal with that. So these women just are downplaying the fact that nobody is gonna come and um, help you guys if you go financially broke, right? Nobody's gonna, nobody, nobody's gonna come rescue you. And not be a flake because I'm a professional in career and social engagement. Oh, you're so great. I, why are these women always praising themselves? They're always like, like totally like patting themselves on the back. There's just no humility at all, no meekness. It's just, um, all this like chest pounding and oh look how great I am, look how badass I am, boss babe, slay queen, I'm everything alpha female. You know, it's like get over yourself. They're just so insanely narcissistic. I, I mean, I'm not even kidding. I'm not even using that. I'm not even exaggerating when I say they're narcissists. They are. I mean, just look how she's speaking. That is exactly how a narcissist talks, you know, and no guy wants to be with a chick who is just not modest and unfortunately, that's getting hard to come by, right? It's like most modern women are not modest whatsoever. They are quick to tell you how perfect they are, how wonderful they are, how great they are, how lucky you are to be in their presence. They're so quick to tell you that. <laughs> and if I'm not interested, I'm also perfectly capable of being direct and telling the guy that I'm not interested. Oh, in yeah. To the date in the first place. Oh, yeah. We are, we're, 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 we're just not as perfect as you. We're just not as perfect as you. Unreal. Okay, last one. Weekends since I've been single are always a bit weird for me. I'm an introvert and appreciate alone time and being on my own to recharge, but it can also be a bit lonely. A lot of my close friends are married or in serious relationships. Yeah, the reason why your, a lot of your friends are married or in close relationships is because they're not, you know, out there uh, <laughs> uh, bragging about how they are they appreciate their alone time, they're, intro they, they're introverts, I, I need to recharge my batteries by myself, I need to do everything by myself, I, I don't need a partner or a man, I, 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 just, I just want one when I feel lonely. I, that's the reason why you're alone. Jeez, I, these women just cannot see that the problem is themselves. <laughs> Are married or in serious relationships or have left the city. And I know I should be more proactive about making plans, but I really just miss being in a relationship and having that go-to person to do nothing with. She misses being in a relationship, yet she wants to do everything by herself. She wants to have her alone time so she could recharge. She wants to sit on her couch and read her book. Uh, you're just not gonna meet people that way. 
<laughs> it's kind of like when I get uh, pickup students or guys come up, you know, come on my boot camp and it's like the first time they've been out in years. And I'm like, dude, if you want to meet someone, very first lesson of pickup, Mystery, Method, Mystery used to teach this way back in the day. Very first lesson is to go out. He actually went on Conan O'Brien and Conan tr totally just trolled him it, um, on live on live, t live TV and said, okay, so the first lesson is to go out. Why didn't I think of that? I mean, yeah, it sounds so simply retarded, but it's true. You have to go out. You have to engage with humanity. I always tell my students that, like, dude, do you think even me after being out, oh, I mean, going out all these years, that there aren't times I just want to stay home, I just want to watch YouTube, I, I just want to watch old reruns of 80s TV shows I used to like, I just want to sit at home and do nothing. Of course, of course. But you know what? I force myself to go out, especially if I'm, I've, you know, I'm in a period in my life where I'm not meeting the right type of girls or if I'm single or I don't like the girls in my dating rotation that much enough to be in a long-term relationship. I need to go out. I force myself to go out. Okay. Um, some, of the, some of the hottest girlfriends I got were times where I almost stayed home because I wanted to stay home that night because it was cold out, it was raining, my car didn't have enough gas. I mean, every excuse in the book. I was hungry, I didn't want to get up, but nope, I forced myself to get up, I changed, put on some clothes, and I went out and I met my next girlfriend, right? All of those times, I did not want to be out. Even on the, the current girl I'm seeing right now, I met her because I forced myself to go to some event and then she, like, it was at some venue, and then she happened to be there with a girlfriend. And I started talking to her. I started, struck up a conversation, you know. And that wouldn't happen if I did not get up and go out. So, yes, you know what? To a certain degree, even I'm introverted. I've always admitted I'm, I'm, I'm kind of shy outside of pickup. I don't, I mean, if I, it's, it's kind of weird how I only come to life if I know I'm going to do game. But if I know I'm not going to do pickup or anything like that, I'm completely content at sitting in a bar by myself and not talking to anyone, right? I do like that time, alone time. But um, there are other times where I'm like, hey, I need to engage. I need to force myself to go out. So I go out. Okay, you can't just sit at home reading a book like this and being a mis introvert and I need to recharge doing everything on my own. If you want a boyfriend, you're just not going to meet a dude like that, right? But as always, gentlemen, drop your comments below. Let me know what you think of tonight's coaching video. Anything you'd like to add, anything you'd like to share. As always, this is M from 33 Secrets signing out here. Don't forget to smash the like button, smash the subscribe button, smash that notification bell for me as well. Helps me out a ton with the YouTube algorithm. And for you guys who want to support my work, the best way to support me and everything I'm teaching you here is to just jump into 7 Months of Mastery. Right now it's only a buck for the entire first month of coaching lessons from me. So take advantage of it. All you need to do is click the link below in my description box. It will take you over to my website where you can get signed up right now. It just takes two seconds, so do that now. And I'll see you in my next coaching video. I'm out.